Welcome to CRM Crew, my name is Nick and in today's quick tutorial I'm going to be explaining how to create a new field in HubSpot CRM. So once you log into HubSpot CRM of course you'll come to the home screen. Now in order to create a new field what we need to do is go to the cog in the top right hand corner but do ensure you have administrative permissions. So I press the cog and then from here we want to go all the way down to data management and under data management just go to properties select properties and then as you can see here we have all the properties inside of our hubspot system so just for clarity properties are fields and then objects at the top is where we can select the object that we'd like to create a new field for and objects are essentially entities or modules they go by various different names but you've got like contact company deal they are our entities or objects so let's say we want to create a new field for our company entity or company object use this drop down menu go to the module or the entity that you'd like to create a new property for select that and then as you can see here we've got all of the properties for that particular object to create a new property just press create property on the right hand side here then what we need to do is just reaffirm that we are creating the um creating a property for this particular module so i am selecting company and then select the group that this is most applicable to so activity information conversion information deal information etc i'm just going to select company information and then we need to give our new property a name our new field name so i'm just going to call this test field um or and, that, and then finally you can choose to give it a description if you like so i'm just going to put this is a test field and then once I've done that, just press the next button. And then this is where we can select our field type. So if you use the drop down menu here, you will see that we have a number of different options. We've got values, we've got HubSpot user, we've got choosing options, and we've got text input. I would love to go through all these, but it will take a long period of time. Single line, um, so I'll briefly go over single line, multi line, that is just text. Checkbox and multi checkbox is, as it says on the tin, single checkbox, multi checkbox, te checkbox drop down is where you can drop down and select different options or a option radio select again choosing an option and then date picker is obviously selecting a date and time and well selecting date and then you can choose to add a time as well if you so wish the number is number calculation is mathematical and you program that calculation and then score is obviously again score it tallies up and then other we've just got HubSpot user which is like the user field if you so wish so I'm just going to use as our example drop down select and then you come to this slightly confusing page it's very simple we've selected the drop down field as drop, so the field type is drop down select sort by that is either alphabetical or custom I always go for alphabetical so it makes life really easy and then all we need to do is enter our label so I'm just going to put test one and then add an option is essentially adding another label test two and then add another option test three and then those the internal values will generate automatically we can load options if we've already got pre-existing options and we just want to add them to this new field and then as you can see here we've got a preview of our new field use the drop down menu and then we have a different we have the different options that we've added in once you've done that, just you, as you can see here, we can select uh, whether we want to show this in forms or sh not show this in forms. I would always tick yes, just for clarity, just to prevent any confusion inside of the system, um, unless you've got any good reason not to. Once you've done that, all you need to do is just press create field, and that will create a new field. And then if you head over to your companies, um, as we've just created, you will find that you've you will find this new property that we've created for that particular object um, and that is how to create a new field or a new property inside of your hubspot crm system i hope this video has clearly explained how to create a new field in hubspot crm if you do have any further questions please drop me an email my details are in the description below otherwise thank you very much for watching and i'll see you shortly in the next video thank you and goodbye